part of the city, just outside the Royal Exchange building, across the road from the LGT Vesta offices. And usually, when people come out of that building across the road, they walk home, get the bus, get the tube, but not this weekend. Hey, SJ. Watch not this feet. Sunday, though, because... <laughs> sorry about that. They'll be using one of these, 725 miles over six days. It's one epic challenge. I'm just glad I won't be on the back of it. So who will be? Well, let's find out. Here they are, the LGT Vestra team. Now, the one question on everyone's lips is, who on earth came up with this bright idea? And here is the culprit, Andrew. What on earth were you thinking? Everyone's laughing nervously around you. Well, we uh, when we got did a partnership with LGT earlier this year, and we thought it was quite a good way to go and meet our colleagues in Liechtenstein. So we thought, why not cycle there? It's uh, one heck of a challenge. How long is it? How long are you on the bike for? And where are you going? Uh, 700-ish miles, six days, 100-ish miles a day. Paul here, basically, uh, his biceps are probably bigger than Russell. Um, how are you going to... How are you going to cope with 60 hours in the saddle, big man? Uh, most of it I spend probably working out how on earth I ever thought this was a good idea, how I thought I was going to do it, and whether I could actually eat Russell when if I get hungry. <laughs> what about the physical challenge? How are the boys at the back? How have you been bearing up? How have you been preparing? Well, I think we've all been doing it in different ways. Um, some guys have been cycling into work every day. Other people have been doing spin classes, body pump classes. But all of us at the weekend just been sitting on a bike for hours on hours, being bored out of our minds. Uh, one thing I will say about most of you boys is that you were all on time, which is very important when you work in a team. Apart from you, Nick, <laughs> late this morning, where have you been? Yeah, apologies. Uh, client commitments came first today, but uh, no meetings for Sunday morning. So I'll be there at the start line, half, half five, and uh, yeah, raring to go. Uh, what I think is important is that no one of us here could do the whole ride by themselves. It's going to be all of us working together as a team, and that's what's going to get us there. You do have to be friends. You're going to spend a lot of time together, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you hate them, don't you? <laughs> well, I'd say that. I probably will in a week. <laughs> uh, well, good luck, boys. It's been great to talk to you this afternoon. Uh, rest up. Thank you, man. And eat lots. That's the great thing about cycling, isn't it, Geth? You can eat loads. Uh, the very important support team who are going to be with the guys every step of the way on this epic challenge. Just exactly what is your role going to be, Dawn? I'm going to be um, nominated first aider. Lots of uh, chafing cream has been ordered and... Uh, <laughs> other necessary bits and pieces, so uh, that's my main role. It, it is a huge job, uh, Jamie. How did you get rope in, roped into this in the first place? Um, I was kind of put under a bit of pressure to help out. As they wanted other people to, or people that had a bit of time on their hands, to um, <laughs> <laughs> join them for a week. Um, I volunteered and said, yeah, I could happily spare a week uh, out of the office. Uh, Jamie, let's talk about the Prince's Trust, the charity that you're raising money for a lot of miles, for hopefully a lot of cash. How much do you want to raise? So we've targeted just over £30,000, raising it on behalf of the Prince's Trust. The Trust is in its 40th year this year, and um, we're working with the Million Makers Initiative, which is a corporate entity, part of the Trust. And uh, we've, we have a team of 8 to 12, and we're now supporting this bike ride. We've got two very generous donors who've offered to match whatever we, whatever we raise. Partnering with the Trust for the next couple of years as a business is great. Those that, that have come by hard times between the age of 13 to 30, they rehabilitate them, re-educate them, and get them back into employment and, and give them some stability in their life. So it's a wonderful cause, and we're, 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 we're still open for fundraising, and we're, we're going flat out for it. Are you ready for what the support network We'll have to deal with. Yeah, fortunately, we, we have planned the route. Um, we've oh, got, oh, we've gone doing. back to basics. We have big atlases, which <laughs> seems very foreign, kind of drawing little routes on um, and taking photos from Google Images. Uh, but it has, we have spent a lot of time tracking the entire route on Google Image um, on the Street View. So we've met the cyclists and their support team. It's time for the talking to stop and the cycling to begin. It all starts on Sunday. The very best luck. Just a quick question all got your saddle cream. Yes. Good. <laughs> Why have you got it? You're supporting. <laughs> That's really weird. Best of luck. Give yourselves a cheer and all the very best. Whee! Whee!